So I will accept happily that telekinesis doesn't appear to, to be out there. There is a way of having something akin to telekinesis through technology. One of the most iconic scenes from the first series is when she shifts something really big. Here we go. Go, 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 go! go! So I will accept, happily, that telekinesis doesn't appear to, to be out there. There is a way of having something akin to telekinesis through technology. So for years now, we've been trying to create prosthetics and robotic oh, okay. arms yeah. and appendages for people who've had strokes yeah, or yeah. lost a limb or, 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 or are paralysed in some way. Uh, and so what you want is a device that can be controlled by reading brain waves and then taking that information and sending mm. it to an arm. And what exactly is a brainwave? And now that is actually quite a tricky question, uh, so I've got someone else to answer it for <laughs> us. Uh, Anil Seth, who is a, a neuroscientist at the University of Sussex. <laughs> we, we have a question for you. Uh, first of all, it's, I think it's a hard one. What is a brainwave? Your brain has many billions of neurons, about 86 billion neurons and they each fire little pulses of electricity. And when they sum up, you start to see these oscillations. So brainwave is basically like an electrical wave. So how can a robotic arm, for example, be controlled by the mind? Well, it's all about a technology called brain-computer interfaces. We use a technique called electroencephalography, or EEG, which can detect the tiny electrical signals that are generated by large numbers of neurons firing in the brain. And if we look at the activity that picked up by EEG sensors above the motor cortex, this is where the brain hatches plans for moving muscle. And different patterns of activity in the motor cortex will correspond to different movements. And what we can then do is train computer algorithms to decode or read out the intended movement from these patterns of brain activity. And then we can use this information to control a robotic arm to do the same thing. I've been trying to convince these guys that uh, telekinesis through technology is sort of possible. And what I'm putting to them, Anil, is that with a brain-computer you already. that is sophisticated enough, I could send whatever signal I wanted to a remote, you know, robot arm, robot leg, whatever it is, as far away as I want and make that move. And that is the closest thing that we can get or will be able to get to telekinesis. What do you reckon? I reckon that's about right. I mean, telekinesis is sort of widely thought of as, you know, you move stuff with the power of your mind alone. Yeah. Uh, I don't think that's possible. That, that's not going to happen. But certainly what we can do is with this technology of brain-computer interface, it will look like you're just controlling things uh, with your mind.